Hey folks, uh, VM Explorer here. Uh, welcome to another video blog on that home NAS, the 10 gigabyte, gigabit <laughs> uh, home NAS that I've been working on. So uh, Asus Store joined the party today and look what they sent me over. First, they sent me a uh, Drive Store 2 Pro and you kind of look at the specs there, you know, you got a quad core, USB 3.2, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, which is kind of cool. Hardware transcoding, I'd like to check that out. Wake on LAN, toolless install, and a three-year warranty. Not a bad little little box. All right, but they also sent me a uh, Lock Store 10, which actually houses uh, 10 drives, and it has similar specs. Uh, but though it uh, does support uh, M.2, it comes eight with gig RAM, built-in 10 gigabit Ethernet, and 2.5 gigabit ethernet and again a three-year warranty so in a second we'll uh, pull these two bad boys out of their box and we'll take a quick look around all right so we're going to start with the uh, drive store 2 pro which is one of their newest products they got out so let's go ahead and get it open here no big deal all right, so in the box, looks like we got an accessory box here. Let's take that guy out. And let's see what we got inside. All right, handy dandy power cable, a power supply, and looks like some sort of ethernet cable by the feel of it, not looking at the side. Looks like maybe Cat5e or something. Some screws and a quick installation guide, nothing really big. All right. Let's get the foam out, and again, nice use of foam, nice and thick on the sides, right? Protect that drive. We put a lot of money into our products. I like to have them received in all in one piece. So let's go ahead and get our drive store out. There it goes. Put them aside. Move the box over here. And then let's get the bottom off. Okay. All done one-handed. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> All right, we're almost got it out. Let me pause it for a second. We'll get this black this wrapper off, and we'll go from there. All right, so here it is out of the box. Uh, relatively, you know, lightweight unit. Not too terribly heavy. <clears throat> you know, let's give you a quick 360 of it. Comes with this uh, magnetic style connection, which is nice. Because look, I mean, you just slap it on it's done nothing to break that's nice i like that a lot we'll peel that off later looks like there's some more things you can peel off here no real trick here power button indicator lights looks like a sync button and then also the usb uh, storage you know then we get your individual drives here that'll come out right we can mess around with those a little bit later looks like they're in the back we've got uh Two USB, the 2.5 Ethernet, and the power uh, input for the unit. And very soon, we'll be getting this guy powered up and checked out. Um, but for now, we're going to take a pause and look at that uh, Lock Store 10. All right, so now we got the Lock Store 10 to unbox. These are some of its specs, as you can see here. I'm kind of excited about this area right here where all the networking is built in. It's got dual 10 gig and dual two and a half gig, so that's kind of interesting. Comes with some pretty decent specs, so let's get it out of the box. It's a big boy, so we'll be, I'm sure, pausing this off and on to kind of get it going from there. Oh, there's those ports right there, right up front. Nice thick packaging again. Looks like this is about maybe an inch and a half or so in thickness. Nice and dense. Again, always appreciated. All right, off that goes. This is a demo unit, so... They sent me an extra hard disk, so I wouldn't uh, exactly, you know, consider that part of what you're going to see. And they sent me a couple extra power cords here, no big deal, and some different cables to get it going. So let's get this big boy out of it, out of its box, and take a look at it. All right, so here's the Locker 10 next to the uh, Drive Store 2 Pro. Uh, one thing we kind of missed earlier was when we pulled this panel off the actual disc trays that come out. This actually kind of snaps. If you hear it there, it clicked pretty hard. And as you're pulling it out, it is a plastic tray, right? It's got nice keyless, toolless connectors on it, so you can just plug your drives right in. But the one thing about it here is this kind of has like a little hook on it right there. 
you can see it right there, and it kind of snaps into place. Um, being that it's plastic, and I hope you're not changing a lot of drives, it'll probably hold up. Uh, but if you're constantly changing drives, uh, who knows, that might not be as durable, uh, you know, or as long lasting as some. But then again, this isn't that type of device. This device is you put two drives in it, you get it powered up and you go. So that makes perfect sense for this design. This design, I, you wouldn't expect to see that type of uh, connector in there. You'd expect to see something more robust and that's exactly what they delivered. So as you can see here, the push button, right? Little tab there comes out and we actually have steel, which is nice for a change, right? Uh, not not toolless. You're going to have to screw things in. Oh, well, you know, but it supports those smaller discs and the, you know, standard uh, three and a half inch drives. And it supports 10 of them, which is really nice. A lot of great buttons up here. You know, USB, indicator lights, power light, disc activity, various menu buttons to kind of work the display when it powers up, you know, go back, etc. No big deal there. Let's spin this guy around. All right, looking at the back, we've got our power supply, of course, USB again, your uh, two 10 GBE ports, and your two 2.5 GBE connectors. Two really nice fans in the back. The metal on it feels nice and smooth. I don't feel like I'm going to cut my fingers on anywhere, right? Everything is pretty smooth, and can't wait to get these... Uh, dissected here in the next video. So that's the quick unboxing video. No real surprises here. Just like to show you around a little bit. Uh, hit that subscribe button below and look forward to seeing any comments. Like I said, if there's something you want me to test or look at, we're going to be getting into that real soon. Thank you so much and have a great day.